What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear, and welcome back to Man of Medan. So, we still have to find everybody else. We're now playing as Fliss, and like I called it, she was wearing a different outfit. Are you sure? No, don't be doing that. I just fucking started the shit. Are we, like, in different dimensions right now? <clears throat> Hold on. Y'all okay? What is going on here? From the back, that kind of looked like Alex for a second. This makes no sense. I think we're all in, like, different universes. That's a spent bullet right there. That bullet definitely came in contact. Oh boy. Okay. So we're back at it again with that okie doke bullshit. Just trying to find our way around this okie doke ghost ship. Nope. Nope. I refuse to be pulled down by the creatures of the deep. No, I refuse. No. Fliss, Fliss, come on now. Fliss. Fliss, don't let him do it to you, baby. No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. 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 We got to save him. No, get in there. Save him. Save him. Okay, what next? Ooh. I was about to tell the people behind him to get back in that door, but apparently that joke was clearly ruined. What in God's name is this? What in the fuck? And the funny thing is I wasn't scared. Like it didn't jump scare me. I was so brave. This place is so pretty. Wow, this place is pretty. I mean, you know, you can imagine Please. walking walking in Not here. Right. Is that a blood fountain? What is going on yep, here? sure is. Sure. That's a pentagram. Uh, Okay, so what do I go to first? The blood fountain or the pentagram? I'm going for the pentagram. <laughs> okay, so apparently there was some, some shit that happened. Now we're going to look at the, uh, yeah, that's blood. It's definitely blood. Will I see something in the reflection? No. I did. It did sound like there was some whispers though. There's surely got to be a picture in here. There's got to be a picture in here somewhere. There has to be. It would make so much sense for there to be a picture in here. Ooh, what's this? How do, how do I get to that? Can I go around? There we go. Okay, so let's see what this book of the damned has in store for us. Book of the damned is exactly what it is. Cabal should silently assemble, and no more or fewer than five true individuals of sound mind and spirit. It should number three female and two male, firstborn, faces obscured with hood. So there's a cult. Sigils. No, it is important to the sorcerer and the spiritual well-being. The spiritual well-being. Flock that before the fe uh, festival of Akramahamari. Woo, that was a good one, can... Ritual of Threskai is performed to wince away demons by means of Cabal. The pentacle shall be drawn out, and each member shall stand at each of the five primary points. A lady born of the seas shall be rendered unconscious and placed at the center of the pentacle. It is from there that the assembled should recite the incantation of Sorus, sword in hand, with all exaltation possible. As is written, we five stand at the furthermost point, we are yet close enough to touch. Pentagram. The five starred 
great power, turning 90 degrees to your... To describe the Unicursal, out the pentacle is Faith, sword forward and using... Rent's turn. Okay, so there are some things that are blotched out. Okay, Grey's described the... A curvinal sigil constitutes the with revenants turn to face north with the exaltation exclaim okay so yeah there was this whole entire freaking ritual that was going on were they like that's so bizarre how does any of this make sense this was post world war ii we were on a ship and everybody was murdered don't fucking do it Don't do it! That's what I thought. Better stay in there, demons. <laughs> that would have been the perfect opportunity to jump scare me. Y'all ain't slick. Alright, so now I'm back at the front. Ooh, can I play the piano? Or is this one of those self-playing pianos? Do I hit another note? Nope. There's blood splatter. I saw that. There's blood spatter on the, uh, on the piano. All right. So I don't think there's anything more I can. Oh, hey now. Hey now. Don't be striking the devil's cord at me. A woman... Born of the sea, knocked up footprints. Woman born of the sea, knocked unconscious. Come on, Fliss, keep your head on straight. Does that does that sound like Fliss to y'all? Ooh, a picture. All right, somebody is being choked out in the water. Keel Hall. Ooh, look at the kraken. Keel Hall. If I remember right, Keel, Keel Hall is an actual uh is an actual naval term. Wait, what's this? I'm gonna push it. Bloody curtain? Really? Oh Jesus no. Look at all the blood up here! This is too weird. You think? Oh my god! I'm like ankle deep in blood. Is that a picture up there? Would that be considered a picture? No, it's not giving me the option to look at it. And with this light, this light is so messed up, I can barely see stuff now. Okay, I'm... Uh, oh, it's not pointed at that, it's pointed at this. Where is the steady stream of blood coming from? Okay, so I can indeed touch the coffin. I'm gonna so regret this! Don't you- ah! Damn it! Hey, hey, hey! There's the guy again! There's the guy again! I saw him! He's watching! Oh, I saw I saw a picture about this. I saw this picture. Fliss! Baby, run! Come on now. Woo! Yeah! Take that, you Death Eater looking motherfucker! Run! Run! Just run! Just go! Just run! Nah, fuck that! You ain't a victim! You a strong, independent female! 
<laughs> All right, so now I'm playing as Julia now. Uh, who what now? That was Fliss because I saw that calf tattoo. Oh no, it's it's, it's old boy. Never mind. He also has a calf tattoo. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, don't do that to me. What in the hell? Is it like the same stuff that was down here before? Oh, God. <clears throat> it's no different. It's literally no different. It's just, that's Alex. That, believe it or not, didn't scare me. Oh, who, what now? I'm seeing double. Nope, this is what I saw. This was the picture I saw. What? Uh, uh, um, um, fuck! Stop! Stop! Lovebirds. <laughs> What the hell? What? Wait, hold on, hold on. What What happened? <laughs> what? That was confusing as shit. Okay. That was confusing as shit. Thanks. I could have drowned. We gotta get away. He's still around. That that guy. The tattoos were a dead giveaway. Let's go. That that was so weird. I should have fucking drowned him. The tattoos should have been a dead giveaway, but I just panicked. Like I legitly pan Oh no. Please don't tell me he died. Please do not tell me he died. Because what could I have done about that? I tried to save him. Fuck. Is it because he fell? He's here. What's the matter, Cream Boat? Don't shut up to me anymore. Woo! Don't trip and fall now. Damn it, I swear if Brad is dead, I'm gonna be so upset. What does this mean? Is the screen over? Run. Boy. Julia, what the hell? Get it open. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. <laughs> Woo! 
There we go, baby. Get out of here. Oh, oh my god, oh my god. Maybe he's gone? Woo! Oh, Fliss! Oh, thank god. Yeah, it's me. Come on, let's go. Where's Brad? What the fuck? Brad cannot be dead. I, 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 uh, come on now. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. Brad cannot be fucking dead. How could he be dead? How could I have done something differently? Dag gummit, man. If he's dead, ah. Uh. Oh, hello. Do not tell me Brad's Things dead. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? Now you're one down. Damn it! How could I have saved him? And has anyone seen Brad? Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? How, How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways? How, man? You will, I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Let me help you out. Give you a little hint. You know what? I'll take the hint this time. Fuck it. Well then, how can I put this? There may be forces at play here that are more scientific. Okay, hold on. Even some that are more political, you know? I Less just had a brainstorm. Supernatural? Perhaps you've started to realize something. That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that helps. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Go on, back to it. Speak soon. What I was thinking of was he even said things are not like they seem. So maybe Brad isn't Jim's dead and they just there. showed it? I brotherly instincts are going pretty crazy right now. I don't know, man. There was a fucked up ceremony. There was some kind of fucked up ceremony going on down there. Someone saw me. This one prick in a room, he attacked me. Wait, what? Who attacked you? I have no idea. Some asshole in a robe. Some asshole in a robe. Ah, I don't know. Well, if there's one thing Brad is good at, it's voiding confrontations. Well, what the fuck is going on with this ship? Because, I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some, like, like, evil, like, literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? Yeah, let's do our the best. I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and... That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just... This can't all be happening. It is. Maybe like one thing could, but not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. There's gotta be something going on here. He did say that things what were we less be sure about? supernatural. What do we know that's real? Is this a ghost ship? Where's the gold? Let's not lean towards the supernatural for now. Where's the gold? Did you see the gold? Anything? It might be time to accept there's no gold here. Would have seen it by now. 
Where are the crew? What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? You can smell death everywhere. It's like a tomb. So where'd all the corpses come from? They actually look like they've been scared to death. This place is weird. This whole place reeks of weird. Dirty, stinky, weird. And I don't like it. Neither do I. Everything about this place is wrong. What happened on this ship? <laughs> Am I crazy or are we on a ghost ship? Like ghost ships are real and this is one and we're totally on it and oh holy shit. It was literally totally this the, it was literally the other answer. Seems like it. We know more than we did before. That's something at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Yeah, we can't just be ship. chilling. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. The ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it. That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. Alex. All right, is there anything behind us before I start moving anywhere? Daggummit, man. Could Brad really be dead? Can I check? Like, can I check at all? Is there any, is there any way of possibly knowing? <sighs> Damn it. I don't know. I guess if, if he isn't, well, then I failed trying to keep everybody alive, but it's like he said, not everything is as it seems. I mean, it's bizarre because one minute Brad was falling and then the next minute he was being grabbed by a bunch of freaking undead soldiers. I know it sounds crazy, but maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. Huh. That's not all that false. I mean... The ships were known to have anti-aircraft uh, weaponry on them because those planes were the biggest threat to them. But if that's the case, <clears throat> that means that it was either A, an enemy plane, or B, uh, it was either A, an enemy plane, or B, it was a rescue plane. That makes sense because it had the life rafts on it, but one of them was gone. So it would be interesting for like it to be a rescue plane and somehow, some way, either a like a possessed survivor shot down the plane or the like a ghost entity or like the cult or whatever shot down the plane so that it didn't get anywhere near. This is so bizarre and I'm fucking loving it, man. Great. You could these if they weren't Swiss cheese. Yeah. Yeah, you could have. You could have tossed it right over. But man, those things are big, though. Oh man, I'm 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 wrapping my brain around all this, man. <clears throat> this is such a cool and interesting story. I freaking love it. And I hope y'all are enjoying it. Because I know I am. Even though I'm getting the crap scared out of me, I I'm a brave man. Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. I just hope Conrad comes through. Ooh, what's this? Don't do it. I was ready. I was ready. <laughs> Gas mask instructions. Always ensure your mask is fitted before assisting anyone else with theirs. If you detect gas or hear the gas alarm, do not panic. Remain calm and clearly shout gas, gas, gas. To warn anyone in the vicinity, hold your breath. That's also a, uh, if you are in law enforcement, like me, and if you do gas training, I did, uh, that's also protocol as well. 
Attach the gas mask carrier by placing the bag under your left arm. Pull the shoulder sling over your right shoulder and hook it onto the bag. Hook the belt around your waist. Remove your helmet. Pull the mask up to your face with both hands. Put your chin inside the mask first, then pull the mask over your face and the harness straps over your head. Remove any potentially trapped gas. Close the outlet valve and breathe out sharply, then push any remaining air out of the mask with your hands. Check for leaks by tightly squeezing the flexible corrugated hose with your hand and inhaling. The mask should crumple around your face. If the mask does not crumple, there may be a leak. Readjust the mask to ensure it is snug. Then repeat the process above until the mask crumples to ensure there are no leaks. <clears throat> uh, standard PPE instructions. Personal protection equipment for those who don't know. Ooh. It's a thingy. <clears throat> I can give somebody a boost up there. Hey, a little help over here. I think this is our way up. Who's going up? Give me a lift. Oh, me? Okay. Me up. Being a gentleman. Pull you up. Yeah, this works. This works. Come on, baby. Alright, so there's nothing that way, so I guess we're gonna go up. <coughs> Alrighty, what is up on deck? Nothing, not gonna allow myself to get near that ledge. Just in case it gives me a, uh, oops, you slipped QTE. I'm also trying to keep my eyes open on the, uh, on the uh, surroundings also. I'm pretty sure something was in there. That makes sense. I think something's in there. Like trying to <clears throat> watch me. What are you doing way over here? What do you see? Or are you just looking? Fliss? Can, can, can I talk to Fliss? No? Okay. Whatever. Let's go inside then. No, don't turn around. Yeah, let's just go in the door. <clears throat> All right. Bridge deck. Over here. Got a way through here. Just, just freaking yeet kick that sucker. Uh. Ooh. Never mind, you'd have broke your damn ankle. <laughs> Yeet crack. <laughs> oh man. Oh, yep, there's a body. All righty, let's keep our eyes open. Picture! What is it this time? Loose cannon? Uh, okay? That was freaking bizarre. <clears throat> I mean, like... That Find a radio yet? that didn't involve any of you know, us. Be a radio on this ship. There, there has to be. Wait, hold on a second. Before I go way over here, what is up with that door over here? What is up with this door right here? Uh, 
it's locked. <clears throat> of course it is. I at least wanted to check and make sure to see if there was any secrets inside. I'm finding a lot of pictures. I hope I'm not missing any. Alright, here we go. What's this? Uh, destination? If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. Well, because... They didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Yeah. Like hide and seek out in the ocean? Republic of China. The planned route is to go that way, that way, that way, all the way back to the U.S. But the actual route is to go... Down the South Pacific? Like they're headed to Brazil? Why would they be going all the way over there? I guess that's what he meant by maybe things are more political than anything. Because I'm beginning to get real suspicious of what's really going on. I hear static. That's what I thought. Can, can you look at the... Can, can, can you... Can you... Thank you! All right, what's this? Nothing. Notes. United States Department of the Navy. Uh, ship Ooh. Was blown off course. Cloud cover was bad. Heavy storm on of course. They couldn't establish a position. Report of hold too flooded. Excessive lightning strikes. Adrift in shallow waters. Location unknown. Seabed depth believed uncharted. Unable to establish depth. Search for crew member overboard commenced. Search called off. Heavy cloud cover as yet unable to establish location. <clears throat> so I guess whenever everything went down, they were blown off course then. Oh, yep. There's the guy. I still want to know what the hell what? killed him. No freaking way. It still, still works. Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years. As long as there's power. I'll True. All right. So, are we doing it ourselves? Oh, it's working. Nice. <coughs> okay, so that was it. Okay. It's a number station. Why? How? I couldn't remember those numbers. Military bandit. Let's have some for help. Hey, hey, is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? The group discovered a radio and made contact with a military station. Nice! Yeah! Holy shit! We got him! Uh... Our coordinates. Let's just give him the coordinates. If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately uh, 12 degrees 30 minutes south, 151 degrees 20 minutes west. Please, get here now! We need help! We're on a freighter. Freighter, <clears throat> abandoned, huge and old. Keep calm. They gave their coordinates. Keep calm. You Hello. just gotta keep calm. Out there. Please come in. Damn. What was that? Whoa, hey now. Hold up, girl. <laughs> calm, calm down now. <laughs> This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. Oh boy. Obviously. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. You're not my bodyguard. I can take care of myself. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Hey! 
strong, independent hey, women. All right. You and me, Julia. Alex and Julia went down the hole in the radio room. Obviously, that has got to be where whatever killed old boy. Now, come on now. You said you could handle it. You said you could handle it. Don't be giving me a heart attack. I can't lose you on this forsaken ship. Ooh. Ouch. Ooh, that's a bad, that's a bad bruise. That's a bad bruise. Any broken bones? Everything still work? Yeah, I can thankfully right. still feel my pulse through my asshole. I'm okay. I'm okay. Do you see anything? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. I'll wait here by the radio. Here. Oh boy. Hey. <clears throat> After nice you. little uh little lantern. Looks like we're in the lower levels of the ship. Sick bay. Wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I was about to say, let's go in here. But oh, hold, hold, hold on, girl. Hold, hold, hold up now, good, good, but baby. Let, let, let me. Let, thank you. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got going on here. So it looks like there was some sort of fight, and this Charlie went to the brig. Yeah, and that Private Charles Anderson on leave from duty did display intoxication in a manner not becoming of a member of the U.S. Army. Private Anderson was engaging with another soldier in a drunken argument. It is the opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl, and steps were taken to ensure that both men were returned to their ship. Ten-day sentence. <laughs> Must have been a big fight. Brig, ten days. <clears throat> yeah, they, they, they don't play when it comes to that stuff. They do not play. Brig, week 27, Monday, Arthur Miller, private, petty theft, one day, Brig, small items belonging to senior officer found in Miller's locker, items recovered and returned to owner. Wednesday, David Davis, private, trespass, two days, Brig, found off limits in cargo hold 3A with no reason to be there, flagrant disregard for orders. Friday, uh, private first class, Lewis, brand, Public intoxication one day. Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Robert Reed. Public intoxication one day. Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Saturday. Charles Anderson. Private. Public intoxication. Brawling. Joe was in the sick bay. Ten days. Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while shore on leave. Joseph Roberts. Private. Public intoxication, brawling, 10 days brig, found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave, assigned to sick bay for medical treatment prior to internment. <clears throat> okay, so that's just the, the leftover log records of the stuff. So at least we're learning some names, but... I'm gonna need a hundred hot baths if we ever get out of here. Hell yeah, a hundred hot baths. I hope you're right. Am I ever wrong? And we're gonna be drunk for like three days straight, cause fuck this shit. Alright, let's go in here. There's a ladder. Uh, do I wanna be in here right now? Uh, screw it. Let's go down, I guess. Come take a look. <clears throat> Look, down there. I think that's the engine room. Good place to find the generator, right? Let's find out. Okay. Be careful. Shit. But... No more ladder. Damn. Drop the rest of the way. Wait. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Come on down. That's a bad place for them ankles to snap. 
That's why you got to make sure you bend your knees when you land. Better to bend your knees and lay flat on your butt than to land straight. Whoa, What's Jesus. That? You didn't fucking see that. Better to... <laughs> I'd already lost my no. train of thought. Of course you didn't. Um, hello? <sighs> yeah, I think I'm actually seeing clearly for the first time in a while. Nothing jumped out at me. Yeah, I think we're all going crazy. Pretty sure we're all going crazy. Causing it. Why would the fog make us go crazy? Maybe we're breathing it in and it's fucking us right the hell up. None of this shit is happening. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. I don't know. It seems like the plane came in contact with the ship, but it's just a theory. Oh, God. All right, let's get going. I don't know. I really don't. Oh, man, this is so... This is so fucked. Fubar! Van Lidden Engine Works. Rotterdam, Netherlands. Diesel engine, number blah, 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 year 1920. Oh, the 20th, 1920. Wasn't that the Depression? It was one of those years. Okay, so what is... I'm trying to make sure that I explore yeah, without I going... What if we went to Japan on vacation instead? I mean, I'm just saying... Let me... Let's go back this way. I don't want to keep doubting myself that I'm exploring everything. Let's go back this way. Let's see if there's anything over here. Because there's no way of knowing if you explore everything unless you walk everywhere. And that's kind of why I've been letting these episodes run a little longer. So that I can make room for all the exploration. Engine room telegraph log. Okay. Let's see what's in here, shall we? That's a lot. <clears throat> Two thirds ahead. Bell acknowledged. Engine speed adjusted. Stand ahead. Bell acknowledged. Engine speed set to standard. Lieutenant Young reported to relieve me of watch duty. I relayed engine running at standard speed with no special or standing orders from bridge or chief engineer and no maintenance or hazard issues in the engine room. I found Lieutenant Young to be of a sober and composed mentis disposition to hand over watch at 2400. Signed, J.G. Uh, Phillips. Relieved Lieutenant J.G. Phillips of watch at zero hundred hours. Inspected engine room for abnormalities. Performed equipment and machinery checks prior to watch. No faults. Previous log entries examined. Currently standard speed engine. No new bridge orders. Full ahead. Bell acknowledged. Full speed ahead. Flank ahead. Flank bell acknowledged. Engine adjusted to maximum speed. Standing order from chief engineer. Cut engine room power from all non-essential lighting and machinery. Chief Engineer entered engine room for emergency inspection. So something went down. Something went down. And they had to cut all of the power from non-essential things, I guess, to bring more power to keep going forward. It looked like something was chasing them. So I'm actually glad I went to look at that then. I'm real glad I went. Every little piece of information adds to the mystery. It's just trying to link it all together with how the beginning played out is something completely different. There's absolutely nothing in this corner. <clears throat> oh. I hear some stuff working. Some stuff still works apparently. All right, so anything over here? No. <clears throat> All right, we're just going to keep proceeding in. Hey. Hey, rebreather. The rebreather. I bet the fisherman brought it from the Duke. You think it still works? But how would uh, they have got it all the way here, though? A few minutes of air left. <clears throat> Worth taking with us? It's just going to slow us down. Oh. I can't decide. I can't decide. Oh, damn it. I hope that doesn't cause something. Oh, I couldn't decide. <coughs> oh, damn. No. <coughs> Ferme ta gueule de merde Tu dis n'importe quoi Tout ce que tu racontes, c'est des conneries Alors, ferme ta sale gueule de merde 
Écoute. Écoute-moi. Non. Fais pas ça. Oh Je t'avais dit de fermer ta gueule. See, this is why... Oh, fuck. This is why I stayed silent earlier. Because that kind of crap can happen. I need that. I need that. Careful. I thought that was a QTE. I thought that was a QTE. I hit A. Oh, jeez, dude. Oh, my God. I thought that was a QTE, and I hit A. I could have screwed it. I could have screwed us just now from panicking. Oh, my gosh. Okay, what's right here? I, I want to look at this stuff right here. Because I'm a... a no, pick it back up. Pick it back up. Pick it. Nope. Damn it. Did I waste time? Damn it. Run. Run. Just run. Just run. Just run. Go. Go. Go, 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 go. I should have looked at his body. There's no use hiding, you little foot. What's the problem with sharing all that gold, eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. And we're all in this together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deal? Okay, oh shit. And I'm to be left here to die. But I am the captain. I am in control. And I am the one that says who goes and who stays. Ah. Ooh, I had to focus there, man. Please tell me you have an escape plan. Let's see what he does. Just stay out of sight. Let's, let's see what he does. Let's be patient. Oh, Jesus. Oh, the focus mode was real. The focus mode was so real. I don't know. <laughs> We're good. We're, we're now. Where you oh, God. <laughs> what? Okay. None of you move. None of you go all changing on me now. Turn around. Slow. Real slow. Okay. All right. No 
not changing. None of that. Raise your hands up. Changing. No. No, no. Not like that. I said no changing. Please. We've got no problem with you. We just want to get out of here. Please. I'm sorry, but no changing. If you're breathing, then you don't got much of a choice in the matter. You don't got to say. Ha! Ah, not again! It's all gone changing on me! What? What's changing? Stay away! Stay back from the mist! Hey! There's no mist, man! Don't breathe it! Don't breathe the mist! Say nothing. It's inside now. Inside with us now. Please just calm down. Stop. Stop. It's in one of us, isn't it? Put the gun down. Julia, no. calm down, girl. Why you say that? Why are you telling me what to do? Yeah, you breathed in the mist. It's happening. I can feel it. Oh, my heart right now. On oh, my heart right now, I can't! Did you breathe the mist or not? Tell me! Sure, we all did a little? I mean, we all did a little. Damn it! <gasps> Damn it, man! Ah! Damn it! Maybe I fuck. I didn't read that right. Damn it, man. Ah! Shit. Well, I fucking tried, man. I tried. Fuck. Oh. All right, fine. Damn it. Fuck. Great. That trip sounds great, I said. I love to dive. I fucking love to dive. <sighs> Damn it. So far, the possibilities are death by gunfire. Death by falling, death by drowning, and now death by boredom. Hey! What's happening? Okay, damn it. It's time to go down in the hole. Oh, man. Oh, God damn it, man. I fucking tried, y'all. I tried so damn hard to keep people alive. I tried. But I thought, like, if I said, no, we didn't, that he would have shot us anyways. Maybe I should have just stayed quiet again. Either way, I guess that's two people down. Both brothers are gone. That's fucking great. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call this episode here. I hope y'all are enjoying this because, man, my heart, my heart has a lot of pressure right now. But until next time, I appreciate all of you for watching. What is going on, good people? It is your boy, Jethro. And this guy right here, he ended up recording the last episode. And it only ended up being, I would say, roughly about 15 minutes or so. Which is why this video is over an hour. So please excuse his blunder as this video will end and it will complete into the next video. Ending Man of Medan. What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear, and welcome back to Man of Medan. The cloak is on. The pants are off. And I am going to try my best to not lose another person. Because... <laughs> We just lost Alex because I wouldn't shut the fuck up. I don't know what I could have done. Both of the brothers are gone. 
Oh, man. So now we're playing as Fliss. She just heard the gunshots. I just feel so bad that they have to freaking, uh, that they have to, like, walk around barefoot. Like, you step on something. I think I might have already said this already. You step on something. And oh, Jesus, man. Come on. I do not need this crap already. I do not need it. I don't need it. I already feel bad enough. Don't make me feel freaking worse. But it looks like we're in exploration mode. Hey, a picture. All right. I'm going to have to try to really pay attention this time. Oh, God. A little hope. What in the world? That is literally like the most sickest looking nerd picture ever. Like if you look at that, there's like three sea dragons and Moses is using the power of the one ring to send them all back to Narnia. Uh-huh. I saw your ass that time. <laughs> Walk through the door, Fliss. Thank you. We have stuff to do, people to save, and spoops to be jump scared by. Huh. The gentle sounds of a haunted nightmare boat. Yeah, very soothing. No, you do not need to go into the locker. All right, now we're going to go through this door. Um, I'm sorry. H hold, hold on a second. Do I have to follow the ghost? Is that what I got to do? Do I got to follow the ghost? Because I'll follow the ghost if you really want me to. There was like nowhere else for me to go over here, was there? Okay, I was wrong apparently. Like I said, I needed to pay attention and obviously I didn't. Okay, so before we go to the left, what is this? Give me this. <clears throat> Alrighty, internal memorandum. To all field officers, the scale of our search and recovery missions across the area have yielded results far greater than expected. Unfortunately, there is now a shortage of adult caskets. If you locate the remains of any missing persons at the water purification plant, you may have to use the smaller caskets. Did, like, did the military, like, find the gold or whatever? Because shit just happened out of nowhere. Hey! Hey! How's it going, buddy? How's it going? Uh, almost didn't see you there. Yeah, almost didn't see you there, buddy. This is deja vu. And that's the next thing that gets me... Sorry, things kind of froze on the game for a second. Things are really weird because what is the con... I'm not controlling anything, by the way. That sounds like one of the guys. Is that Junior? Oh my god, that's the crates. Oh no, it's freaking Olsen. Alright. What you want to do, Bretta? Take a deep breath, okay? Nobody's got to get hurt here. Back off. I'm backing off. Okay? Just calm down. He's got a freaking sledgehammer. Back off. And those are the crates, too. They're still there. They have not moved. You're going to regret that. Ah! 
Oh, she's okay. She's okay. It's just water. It's just water. Uh. Yep, she's okay. Okay, we're good. And, and he's okay too. Woo! Come on now, let's go, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, that's gonna fall, isn't it? Woo! Give me that. Let's run. It's not worth it. That's all you have to do now is run. Woo! Ow. Okay, she's good too. Woo! Yeah, it was the gold the whole time. Nope, get off me. Nope, get off me, I said. Oh, don't do this to me. Hold on, Fliss. Door two. Go for it. Fuck it. Go for it. Go big or go fucking home, man. Oh, damn it. Oh! Yes! Go, Fliss! Go, girl! Yeah! Suck a fat one, shithead! Woo! Oh, man! I didn't realize that that was a, uh, a rapid press one. I almost failed. I almost failed that. Oh, my gosh! Let's go! Woo! I almost failed that. I cannot believe I almost failed. Oh man, that was that was down to the wire, man. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hello? Oh yeah, and then we find out that this son of a gun died. I don't know how. When did it happen, though? When could it have happened? Oh, man. There it is. The sun's up. I think we're literally at the end of the game now. Oh, man. Dang, we lost the brothers. That was it. All right. Let's try it. Oh, I'm so sorry. You poor thing. Oh my gosh, man. Conrad showed up with the Coast Guard. I'll be at a little bit too late, my brother, but you did no matter what.
how did you climb that whole freaking side of that ship? What are you, Spider-Man? What the hell is this place? Conrad, don't go in there. Don't go in there. Do not. Is it abandoned? Hello? Do not. Alex, Julia, are you guys here? Do not. No. <laughs> oh, Conrad. Oh, God. Did I get a terrible ending? I think I might have got a terrible ending. Oh, jeez, man. And I was doing so good, but everybody just started dropping like flies at the very end. I did so good, I could have kept everybody alive. I just want to know what happened to my brother. He was trying to help us to, to get help, but he doesn't know anything about boats or sailing. I just hope he's alive, that he's okay. God, we should have never split up. I swear I'm telling you everything I know. I didn't see Brad. There was this crazy guy in a hood. That's it. Oh, wait a minute. Not everything is as it seems. Could that have been where I messed up? Was that the hint right there? I think that might have been the hint right there. And that one, I, I own up to that mistake. Oh, man, and that was it. That was it. There's no way I'm going to upload just a 13-minute version of this. Oh, you have something to say to me now, bruh? That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. Yeah, there are other we'll endings. Try again. See if you can't do better next time around. Not a bad effort. Some lived, some died. Yeah. All your fault. Yeah. I suppose when the curtain falls, you're either ready for it or you're not. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. Are you going to give me any semblance of a hint of what I did wrong? Repercussions. Oh, but it was nice hanging out with you, Till though, bro. Again. Maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable. Thank you for your time, curator. Curator. Blah, blah, blah. Won't you spare me over till another year? Won't you spare me over till another year? So, let's go ahead and skip all the music just in case it's copyrighted. So, I'm not sure what Little Hope is. Maybe it's because that was a little too, that was a little too specific. So, I don't know if it's going to be like a DLC or an expansion of some kind or something. We're still going. Conrad, oh boy. You're just rubbing it in, aren't you? Oh, Jesus Christ. You had to give me one more, you shithead. Going it alone. Okay. So is this little hope? Oh my god! Welcome to Little Hope.
Oh my god, bro! They're already planning the next game? Oh, you know your boy's gotta be on that. You know your boy's gotta be on that. Oh my gosh! That is crazy! Uh, but man, in the end... We lost two people. I mean, in reality, I don't think I did too bad. I don't think I did too bad. I haven't fully finished a horror game, but I tell you what, this time I did. And I'm not going to upload this by itself. I'm just going to combine it with the previous video. So it's going to cut right into it after the next video ends. By this point in time, you'll have already seen that done. Because I'm not going to put on such a short video when all of the other ones are 30 plus minutes long. I'm not going to do that. But at least I managed to go ahead and get this game done. Now I'm going to start working on finishing Blair Witch. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have... Be sure to give a like, throw a comment, and if you haven't already subscribed, why not do so for more of this amazing, bone-chilling, baby boy screaming, and mayhem-filled content. Until next time, I appreciate all of you for watching. Like and subscribe for more, for I will continue to make these videos for many moons. Stay safe out there, and never forget to holla at your bear. Peace out.